Hello, Randy here. Been uh, stirring on these thoughts for the last week and finally taking an opportunity to do a video on this. Uh, Pastor Dan DeRoach from the church my son Caleb and his wife Amanda go to in Wisconsin Rapids. I was doing thoughts last Sunday from Mark chapter 4. Um, coincidentally, this was one of Caleb's favorite stories that we would read for him when he was young. We'd read at bedtime. And it's a story of Jesus calming the storm. How that the disciples were with Jesus, taken across the sea. A furious squall came up, and it was something beyond what they would have normally seen on that lake, even these experienced fishermen. And the the question that first off caused me um, this thought of in a little different way and um, as I was doing as the message as the word was happening while Pastor Dan was preaching in me it's this question that the disciples asked teacher don't you care if we drown and for years I've always thought of that verse in such a way it's like well what is wrong with you disciples can't you see that Jesus is right there but instead, as I saw that, as I was listening to him preach, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? And I heard in that the question, the question that rises out of so many of us, and the question that at times it said of the people of Israel that it was their cries out of Egypt that God heard. I could hear the cry of the disciples' heart at that moment. Don't you care, Jesus? Don't you care? It's a question that could be seen as being doubtful of God, but then again, it's a question that comes directly from the heart. Jesus quiets the storm, and then he asks them a question. Why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified, another translation says. Do you still have no faith? <laughs> as I look at this passage these days I say the answer is no I still don't have I still don't have any faith there's one more thing that came out of this passage that uh, I could see it's it's the fact that they were afraid they were afraid because they got into a storm where there was so much that was stirring and you might also say that it was the storm that was within that was stirring that scared them as much as the physical storm that was going on around them. Maybe that's why somebody has so wisely said sometimes he calms the storm and sometimes he calm, calms our hearts. And I see that in this story that uh, the disciples were afraid, they were terrified, they were disoriented by the storm. But what's so fascinating to me is that after Jesus had stilled the storm and you would have thought, well, everything is calm now, everything is fine. It says then they were terrified. Then they were even more disoriented because this was not like anything that they had ever seen. They had never encountered somebody that could actually say to the wind, stop blowing and to the sea, be still. Again, a disorienting experience in the midst of many disorienting experiences that we have in day-to-day -day life. But one more thing I bring to, bring to the attention here of that this storm fits into the narrative, and I looked at every story that it's recounted on within Scripture. Every gospel that records this story says that right after this, they went from here across the sea to the Gadarenes where there was a demon-possessed man or men, some translations say, or some of the stories say, there, were, there was somebody that needed, this is the key, 
there was somebody that needed to encounter the power of God on the other side of that sea. And who knows that this storm was not of an orientation that was not just physical, but that it was Satan himself trying to buffet them and to keep them from going where they needed to go. And maybe that's something to remind ourselves of today, that you might be going through a storm and that storm may be shaking you and disorienting you, but maybe the whole reason for you going through that storm is for you to see that beyond that storm, there's somebody that needs the presence and the power of God to come into their lives and may it dispel demons from their spirit that freedom may come and they, they would sit in awe and they would sit in peace and that they would sit under his grace and that we would do the same today. Thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, whatever format that you're in today. Have a great day and be in awe of our great God.